Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Does the Food You Eat Affect Your Growth and Development? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal The Lancet, published on November 29, 2021. Research conducted by Shane Norris, Edward Frangillo, George Patton, and others from SAMRC Developmental Pathways for Health Research Unit at the University of the Witwatersrand, the Department of Health Promotion, Education, and Behavior at the University of South Carolina, and the Murdoch Children's Research Institute at the University of Melbourne, respectively. See the full list of authors in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Hungry? Should you eat an apple or potato chips? Does it really matter? It turns out that what you eat as a child and adolescent affects your growth and development. It can also affect your health as an adult. We wanted to understand the link between nutrition and adolescent growth. We did a review of different scientific studies to see what is currently known about this. We found that not eating enough food, eating the wrong foods, and eating too much food all affect the body's systems, but the effects are different in each case. We also learned that the negative effects of poor nutrition aren't permanent if they're corrected at the right time. Introduction. During adolescence, you go through a transformation. From around ages 10 to 19, all the systems in your body grow and mature. That is why what you eat is so important. Getting proper nutrition means that you eat enough food and the right food to meet your body's needs. Undernutrition occurs when someone is not getting enough food. Overnutrition occurs when they eat too much. The body then stores this extra food as fat. That is why overnutrition can result in obesity. Malnutrition occurs when a person eats enough food, but not the right types. To make sure adolescents are getting the right nutrients, we must first know what those are. That is why we did an extensive review of current scientific papers. We looked at studies that focused on different parts of the body to see how nutrition affects each one. The human body needs a variety of foods to meet all its needs for growth and development. Try to choose foods from several food groups, especially fruits, vegetables, protein, grains, and dairy. In the photo, you can see examples of these types of foods laid out on a table. Methods. We searched four medical databases to find articles about adolescent development and nutrition. Some of the articles were longitudinal studies. That means they covered a long period of time, such as months, years, or even decades. All the articles were published between January 31, 2020 and March 30, 2021. Results. The articles showed that nutrition affects the body in many different ways. Puberty. Adolescent growth starts with puberty. Puberty is when the body starts to develop into that of an adult. During this time, the body builds up bone, muscle, and fat mass. We also grow taller and our biological systems mature. Studies showed that nutrition changed the timing of puberty. Puberty began earlier in children who were overweight, but much later in children who were undernourished. Height. There are two processes that happen when you grow taller. First, a set of cells extends the bone with protein. Then, a second set of cells covers the protein with minerals, such as calcium. If the body doesn't have enough protein, then bones won't grow longer. If there are not enough minerals to build the bone, the bones won't grow either. That is why children and adolescents who don't have proper nutrition don't grow as tall as their peers. Nervous system. While the brain almost reaches adult size by the age of six, it continues to change after that. Scientists say that the adolescent brain is neuroplastic. This means it can reorganize, allowing us to learn and adapt to new situations but it also makes it harder to deal with stressful environments and poor nutrition. Studies showed a reduction in brain matter when a person didn't get enough food for long periods of time. 
This reduction resulted in a loss of executive functioning. That means it was harder to regulate emotions, follow directions, and stay organized. High fat and high sugar diets also affected the brain. Studies showed that these types of foods can change two signaling systems in the brain. When these systems changed, adolescents struggled to regulate their eating. They also had more impulsive behavior. Immune system. The immune system protects our bodies against pathogens, such as viruses and bacteria. The immune system needs both macronutrients and micronutrients to work. The main macronutrient required is protein. The micronutrients include vitamins B12, C, and D. That is why malnutrition can cause the immune system to work incorrectly. Overnutrition can also be a problem. Obesity in adolescents can activate the immune system and cause chronic or long-term inflammation. This inflammation can decrease height growth. It can also lead to diseases in adulthood, such as type 2 diabetes and various heart diseases. It may also increase the risk of asthma in adolescents. Here in Figure 1, you can see the effects of poor nutrition on the adolescent body. The figure shows a human and the possible impacts of overnutrition on the left side of the body and shaded in blue, and the possible impacts of undernutrition on the right side of the body and shaded in green. Lines point to where the bodily systems being impacted are located on the body. From top to bottom, for overnutrition, puberty begins earlier, the nervous system shows changes in impulsive behavior, the heart can suffer from heart disease, and the lungs from asthma. Overnutrition also makes the chance of developing type 2 diabetes in adulthood higher for the pancreas, and bones can be shorter, causing reduced height. Undernutrition, on the right side of the body, can be characterized by puberty beginning later, the nervous system can show reduced executive function, the immune system is depressed, meaning it's more likely you get sick, and bones can be shorter, causing reduced height. What are two body systems affected by both overnutrition and undernutrition? Discussion. Late childhood and early adolescence are an important nutritional time. Our study review proved that poor nutrition affects the development of body systems. There is evidence that it is possible to fix these negative effects, but families need to make proper diet adjustments by the end of adolescence. After adolescence, it is more difficult for the body to fix the negative effects. There is still a lot to learn about adolescent nutrition. The studies we reviewed all focused on single body systems but our body systems are all connected, so we can tell that poor nutrition will affect more than one system at a time. To know exactly how, we need to investigate how nutrition affects the whole body in the future. Conclusion. Good nutrition in childhood and adolescence is important. It reduces the risk of diseases. It also promotes healthy lifestyles in adulthood. Do you eat well? Take a look at the food choices you make throughout the day. Use nutrition guidelines such as myplate.gov to make sure you are getting the right amount of food each day. Also check to see that you are getting the correct types of food. If you see ways to improve your diet, talk with a doctor and a trusted adult before making any changes. That way you can make sure you grow and develop to your potential. Thank you for listening to this recording. Please visit sciencejournalforkids.org for more free science teaching resources.